Hello, this is Becca with Amazing Paper Grace. And today what I want to show you is how I make my crepe flowers. Um, this is a flower that I've just made. Um, it's got several layers. You can see the dimension there. And it's very, very easy. Now I haven't seen crepe paper in a number of years. And uh, I was recently able to find it in the craft store and the possibilities. So, anyways, um, these are the supplies we're going to need. You'll need your crepe paper. A small roll like this costs about 50 cents, and you can get it in all different colors. And, uh, you know, it all seems to be about that wide. You'll also need scissors. You will need a ruler. And you may need a needle and thread. So to get started, what I did is, with my ruler, I measured out a yard of the crepe paper. And that seems to give you enough to work with. Now, the flower that I that I made on this card is not as quite as wide as this. I cut it down some. If you were to make a full width flower, it would look something like this. And that's quite big and you you may want that, but if not, go ahead and this is the time to actually um, cut the crepe paper down and all you'll do is just fold it several times take your scissors and just trim off some whatever you trim off save because you can use it another day and then the easiest thing that I found rather than mess with it and fold it and fiddle with it is just to go to the sewing machine go to the sewing machine and just sew uh, one one uh, seam with your longest stitch setting just a straight stitch and um, it takes about 30 seconds so it's very easy if you don't have a sewing machine of course you can sew it with a needle and thread by hand and so you will end up with something that looks like this and what you'll do is you'll just separate out one of the tails and always be sure that you're pulling on the same tail and you'll just start to pull and what will happen is the uh, crepe paper which has a wonderful drape will start to gather and so you'll just adjust your gathers pulling them all the way down this line the object is to pull enough gathers into it that the crepe paper will curve around on its own just making uh, the construction of the flower very easy and I actually have one that is that I've already gathered and it looks like this so what you do you know this is just gone back on itself on one end you'll just curve it around and you'll keep curving and that's going to make the layers of your flower. You'll curve, you'll keep curving and it, it ends up being um, one big spiral. It makes for a very pretty flower. You can actually draw it tighter uh, in the center. And then what I do, and this is a little bit fussy and it may take me just a couple of minutes to get it, is I take the ends and I feed them down through the center hole so that I can tie them. So let's see if I can get them down there. I've used a crochet hook for this in the past and that seems to work pretty well. Right, I think I have two more threads to get down there. There we go. And so then I'm just going to take this and I will tie it. I want to get all the threads there. And this actually gives you something to hold on to when you're when you're putting it on your your card. You can either tape these down or tie them around a, a bow. I'll just tie one more and it actually helps you cinch in the flower a little bit 
And then at this point, what I'll do is I'll take something like a button and I'm able to put, I just picked up any button, but I, I'm able to put a button in there. I can put a brad in there and I will fluff it up and you're ready to go. You just separate your layers and fluff it up and that's the easiest crepe, flour, crepe paper flower that that I've seen. So I hope you enjoy making them. They're very easy. Get your crepe paper in all colors and uh, look forward to seeing what you make. Thanks.